Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So it is time for a long-awaited review for you guys. Today I am going to be reviewing the brand new Hourglass Ghost Collection. This is their annual collection for the holidays. Hourglass definitely has one of the holiday collections that I look forward to most every year just because their stuff is so expensive so you get a little bit of a better value over the holidays. I mean the stuff that they release is still super good quality. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on this whole collection then just keep watching let's go over what is in this collection. The first thing you have, which is the big thing, is the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Palette, which is typically what they come out with every year. It's six of their face products. What is new and what I'm really excited about is the Ambient Lighting Blush Quad. This one just has four beautiful blushes in it. You also get a Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Collection, which contains three of their Scattered Light Eyeshadow Formula. And then finally, you get two of the Refillable Lipstick duos in special packaging for the holidays. So we're going to go over every item one by one. So a major thing I want to talk about this collection is that it is a limited edition collection, as is all of their other previous holiday releases. And when they say limited edition, they literally mean limited edition. I think as a brand, they would have made so much more money last year had they re-released their ambient lighting palette from last year because people were begging for it. And once it's sold out, it's sold out. So definitely if this is something that you are interested in, please go pick it up now because once it's gone, it's gone. Anyways, let's go into this year's palette and my thought on it. So this guy right here is $80, obviously a lot of money, but if you know the price of a regular powder from Hourglass, this is pretty consistent with the rest of their brand and for a good reason, they have good powders. And the reason I'm not doing a typical review style that I normally do is because I am very familiar with these types of products from Hourglass and I know I already love them so I figured I would just show you them in action and as I'm using them and kind of the colors and how I would use them. So again this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Face Palette, the Ghost Palette and the packaging on this guy is a little bit different this year in that it's not all of this like reflective packaging. It actually has this plastic part as well which I guess is that ghost element. If you ask me I think it looks a little bit cheap and it probably made it cheaper to make. I kind of like it though. I know it's not the same kind of luxury packaging that Hourglass usually has, but I like it. I think it gives it some character. It's something different, but I mean, it definitely kind of cheapens it if you ask me. So this palette is described as the travel-friendly palette that you need for everything, brighten contour and highlight your skin. It features three exclusive shades to this palette and then three shades that are already in their original line. This palette is formulated with photoluminescent technology to capture, diffuse, and soften surrounding light for skin that appears softer, younger, and lit from within. Very well said because hourglass powders really do give you that lit from within, very natural diffused look. In this specific palette, the top three shades are already existing powders in their line. So you have two finishing powders. This first one is dim light, the second one is diffuse light. Dim Light is one of my all-time favorite finishing powders or just all-over powders. And then this third color right here is a strobe powder and it's Iridescent Strobe Light. Really pretty. We'll be using that one today. Then four, five, and six are all brand new shades exclusive to this palette. So this is a bronzer in Eternal Bronze Light. Strobe Blush and Iridescent Rose. Really stunning. I used that one today earlier when I was wearing makeup. And then this just a regular blush. So this is a straw blush, this is a regular blush, and sublime flush. And the differences between these two is I would definitely say the straw blush has a little bit more iridescence on the skin. It gives you a little bit more of a healthy glow. Still very natural. It doesn't like beam off your face, but you definitely have more of a glow with this blush. Whereas this one is a little bit more of a soft matte. It's still not completely matte matte. It's not going to make your skin look dry. It does have that hourglass finish to it, but you just get a little extra oomph with that other blush. So I'm going to start off with one of the finishing powders because I have not set my face at all today. I'm going to be using all of my new Sonia G brushes. I just did a whole video on them. And when I was using them, I just thought that they would work so perfect for the Hourglass powders. So I'm using her Sky Face set right here, which I will link down below for you guys if you are interested. One thing to know about these powders is they are super tiny. So be very careful about the brush that you use because it is very easy to kind of accidentally dip into the other powder. But I'm 
going to start off with some of Dim Light, which is my favorite setting powder. Now, this one is really fantastic after you've actually done everything to just put it all over to kind of diffuse everything together. For me, I'm just going to use it to set my areas, give me a little bit of a healthy glow. Nothing too crazy, but if you use Hourglass, you know what I'm talking about when I say it does give you kind of this ethereal, softening, kind of diffused effect on your face. I mean, I've used this powder time and time again. It's just a beautiful setting powder. Now, the next powder that I'm going to go into is the bronzer. This is the Eternal Bronze Light, and I'm I'm very disappointed in the fact that this is in this palette because I'm gonna be very honest with you guys this is a very very light bronzer I do like it on my skin it's kind of more of a neutral bronzer it's not extremely warm so if you're medium or darker this is just a whole color that really is not going to work for you which is very disappointing because every year with these palettes hourglass has seemed to get a little bit more inclusive in the palettes but it's still hasn't quite got there and you would think that with the trends and just the general information that their customers have been given that they would have at least done something about it they really didn't they actually took a step back compared to last year's because I felt like last year they were the closest they had been to being um, a little bit more inclusive and they just weren't this this year it went away but I mean on myself as a personal review this bronzer is really pretty. I like that it's not too warm, but it still adds warmth and a little bit of sculpting to my face. I like it. It's a bit soft, but a super pretty bronze. I'm not going to dig into these two blushes because I want to dig into the quad, but this one is going to look beautiful on more medium to deep skin tones. This one is a bit of a softer color. I think this is going to look more pretty on fair skin tones. It still is going to look nice on like more medium skin tones or as a topper but if you really want to get down and dirty with some blush color this one is stunning I'm going to go into this powder right here and I'm going to just put it underneath my eyes to just kind of brighten them I'm gonna kind of put it in the areas that I would also naturally kind of highlight right here I wouldn't really put it under my eyes but I figured why not today because it does kind of add a little bit of a non-flattering sheen but definitely in the areas that naturally hit the light this is like a good highlight before the highlight. We will come back to my overall thoughts on that one. Let's head into the quad right here. So this is the Ambient Lighting Blush Quad, Ghost Quad, and in here you are getting four blushes. They've never released something like this before, so I was really excited about it in addition to the palette that they were already releasing. So this guy has the same packaging in that kind of plasticky bottom hourglass top. It is $58. So this palette features an exclusive quartet of universally flattering hybrid blushes that combines the customized lighting effects of, you know, the ambient powders and just their formulas in general. So, so three of these shades are new and one of them is already existing. So the already existing one is this one right here. This is Brilliant Nude. It is a really pretty natural blush. I love it. I have it. I think it's stunning. And the rest are new. So this one is a regular blush in Surreal Effect. Again, this is a strobe blush with that little extra oomph to it in Brilliant Nude. Another strobe blush in Lucid Glow. And then we have our, just a regular blush in Infinite Flush. So we're going to play with this as far as the cheek colors go for now. So I want to start off with this one right here. This is the regular blush. And I want to put the strobing one on top. But I love a good pinky blush really pretty soft. You just see like there's something so special about these powders. If you have a lot of texture, I mean, I'm not going to say Hourglass hides it because it doesn't, but it doesn't do any crazy emphasizing of your texture. I'm just going to kind of wipe my brush. This Sonia G Soft Cheek Blush is perfect for their formula, their finishing powders, and in particular their blushes. I just love how effortless and seamless it applies the blush. So the next one I'm going to go into is the other kind of regular blush finish right here. This one is a little bit more neutral, a little bit more mauve -y. So this one pulls a little bit more mauve on the skin, I would say. Still brightens the face, but maybe not quite as 
bright and flushy as the other one, but really pretty. You can already start to see that natural glow that it gives the cheek. And then the last one that we're going to do is the other strobe blush, Lucid Glow. And I just want to show you that extra glow it adds the cheek. And this is like a pop of color too. This just instantly added that punch to my face, which is really pretty and I think is going to look stunning on a little bit of deeper skin tones. But depending on the brush you use, you can kind of work it. Okay, so I know we did go a little bit crazy with blushes. I layered in a way I would not normally layer, but really, really stunning. I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of press them into the skin, but I really like this quad a lot. Hourglass has probably my favorite blush formula out there, so for me, that palette is really worth it. I'm really excited that they came out with that quad. And really quickly, just to finish the skin, I'm going to go back into the big palette, and we are going to use the one and only strobe powder. I'm surprised this is the strobe powder that they chose to add. I feel like last year's they did such a better job and they really added strobing powders. This one is a little bit more subtle and this one has a little bit of kind of like an iridescent pink to it which I don't dislike but I also don't really love these iridescent kind of pink colors. You can see instantly if you've never used their powders just the instant glow that it gives that no other brand can really replicate quite as well. I mean, all together, all over the cheek, I'm like glowing, but it's still natural and uh, I love it. Okay, so now we're going to look into another item that I was super excited about and this is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Collection. Now, I actually did a full review when these first released a while ago, I want to say a year and a half ago, and I was so excited to see that they were coming out with a good deal for a holiday set. So this is $46, and it's a weightless glitter eyeshadow that is infused with light reflecting pearls that dusts eyes in a sparkling shimmer. It's a unique hybrid cream formula, buildable dimension, intensely prismatic finish, blah, 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 blah. They're just good and really pretty on your eyes, and I can attest to that. So in here, though, if you have a lot, you may not really need this palette because there are already two existing shades and there's only one new shade. In the existing shades, it's Ray and Foil and then we have Molten, which is the new color and this is like a plum violet color. Since this is the new one, this one is the winner that gets to go on my eyelid. So we're just gonna apply this one straight to the lid. It's definitely not pooling as dark as I had anticipated. It's a little bit more sheer. You can definitely see that scattered glitter effect that it gives. I have to say in this line, this one is not my favorite. I'm gonna take a brush and kind of blend this out just a little bit. So I do have to say this particular color is not really my favorite. There are definitely other colors in this line that I think are a lot more pretty but the formulation of this is still really nice and definitely still think this is a great set color preference you know it's just a very personal thing but no these are a really neat formula and the other two colors I think are wonderful I'm just not into really dark cream shadows but even then you can see uh, it is that scattered light effect I think the glitters are a touch more chunky in this one compared to some other ones that I have but still really pretty but otherwise this is a fabulous set. I love these guys. So I'm going to quickly throw on some mascara and we will be back to try on the lip colors. So it's time to move on to the lip colors. So they had two released in this collection. I've already broken into this one, but both of these are their Confession Refillable Lipstick Duos, and I will show you how those work in a second, but they are $36 each. These are definitely one of my top five favorite lipstick formulas. I just think that they're so comfortable. They're so moisturizing. They give you great amounts of color, and I really like how slim they are. Maybe that has to do with my small lips, but I find them very easy to apply and they just feel really good in the hands because they're very slim. These are a bit of a better value than if you were to buy a lipstick individually because it does come with two colors. So this first set here is the one with I Wonder and I'll Forever. Regularly these have a gold packaging and a gold top which just matches the top and bottom. In this collection, it looks like this is again that clear plastic which really cheapens the lipstick if you ask me. I can deal with it in the palettes, but I love how luxurious the regular packaging feels and this definitely cheapens it. Yeah, but you can literally just pull this lipstick out, then you can just 
pop this one in. So in case you didn't know that, it's that easy. I don't find myself ever really popping colors in and out. The Typically how it works is you pay for this piece and then you can buy the lipstick refillables for cheaper. But anyways, the first color we're going to use is I Wonder. So these have pretty good staying power as well because they're not like super duper creamy. Okay, so this is the first color I Wonder. It's a really pretty almost coral color. A little bit brighter. You have to like brighter colors to like this lipstick. Honestly, I feel like this formula feels a little bit thicker than some other ones that I have in this formula. This one is Isle Forever, and you can still use it without clipping it in. And this is a darker color. Ignore how terribly I'm applying these. Oh, this is really pretty for the holidays. So these are quite bold colors. Let's take a look into the other set. Now this one has I Cherish and You Inspire. So let me show you these colors. This first one here is I Cherish. Okay, so if you're more of a nude lover, you're definitely gonna like this set more. Okay, so I really like this color. It definitely needs a lip liner, but it's kind of like a mauvey pinky nude. So the next one that we have to play in here is called You Inspire. This one looks a lot more deep. Ooh, so this one is kind of vampy. I really like how this particular one has like a really light nude color and then also a really dark vampy color. So I think just based on the colors I wear, I would go for this one more. But the other one I sh previously showed you had more pops and a little bit more warmth to it. So definitely for two different kinds of people. So that one is definitely preferential, but I really like this color. This one is really good for the holidays. So I'm gonna keep this one on. It goes well with my eyes. Really quickly, I'm going to give you a roundup of my thoughts on this whole collection. So we're gonna start off with the big guy over here. I definitely think I prefer the one from last year. I think it was just all around a better palette. It had better choices of colors in there. It was more friendly towards a wider range of skin tones. This one is definitely for just light to medium skin tones. I think that's how you're gonna get the most use out of it, unfortunately. Hourglass should have gotten the message right now. It's honestly a little bit insulting that they just haven't done anything about it. But I think the color choices in here are nice. I would have preferred more strobe powders or a different color at least. I like that they did add dim light. It is one of my favorite powders. I could have done without this color. I do like the blushes in here a lot. I think it's a really great choice in blush. And then the bronze is really nice as well, but it is very, very light. I would say generally speaking, this palette leans pretty cool compared to some of the other palettes that they've had, but I like this one. I'm very happy I have it in my collection. I like it better than previous ones, but I also like some previous ones better than this one, so I would say this is kind of middle of the road right here. It is nice to have, and if you want it, I would definitely say this is the one thing you should pick up because only annually does a palette like this come out from them. The blush quad, I think, was a really great addition to this year's collection. It also is unnecessary because you already have a whole palette that has blushes in them, but if you're like me and you're crazy about the hourglass blush formula, this was very exciting. I think it would have been good to kind of make this a mini. If it were up to me, it would have been cooler to make this like a mini ambient lighting palette and cater this to more deeper skin tones. Have a deeper bronzer in here, a deeper blush, a deeper highlight, things like that. I think that would have made people a lot more happy because having this and the other palette is a lot of blushes, but I do like this. I like the colors in here. I think it's really pretty since I am a huge ambient blush fan. Very excited about this. The scattered light trio, I mean, is really great. You're going to benefit from this the most if you don't have any of the colors in here. This is a great formula, a great deal for this product, and if you like those creamy, glittery products, you're really going to like this. So even though I didn't love the particular color that I put on my eye today, I know the other two are fantastic and right up my alley, and this is just a great way to get a little bit of a range in this formula. And then the last two lipstick packages, these are definitely not necessary for you, but they're nice. I personally just love the way these lipsticks feel in the hand. I like the way that they apply and I really like the formula, but you don't need them. You don't get to curate the colors that you want. You kind of have to really be happy with the colors that you're getting. And to be quite honest, I'm not in love with any of the colors that these have to offer. I think they're nice colors and I think this is going to push me to use colors that I don't normally use, but I'm not in love with these. But given how much money I've spent on an individual one, it's nice that you can get a duo and it's limited edition packaging. So that's all I have for today's video. That was me kind of exploring this collection, giving you my thoughts as I went along. I wanted to do a little bit of a different style today since I am so familiar with the formulas already. So let me know your thoughts below on this collection. I'm sorry I got it out late to you guys, but you still wanted to see it, so I 
still brought it to you anyways. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.